Hi everyone and welcome back to LNA is So Chic. fashion, lifestyle, and of course, my favorite DIY. Make sure to like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on all platforms under at Urban Beauty. That's U-R-B-A-H-N Beauty because we're gonna be doing some great stuff. Today, I'm gonna to be walking you guys through my bathroom remodel DIY project. This entire DIY is renter friendly. I wanted to do something really personal with the space for a long time and in my previous apartment I did not feel as comfortable putting things in the walls, painting, etc. And so this is a full-blown, I'm just letting it all go, doing exactly what I want in the space. And so I'm really excited to share with you guys and stay tuned for every detail. I'm linking everything down below in the description box so that you guys can replicate this if you so wish in your own space. I'm gonna walk you guys through all of that today. So stick around. So this is the before look at the bathroom. It's a decent sized bathroom with a little shower, toilet and sink. As you can see, it's not too huge, but not too small. So I've done just a little bit with it already, but a lot of the things I have here from our old apartment, again, this is a rental. And so, won't be doing too much in terms of changing out uh, like the tiling in the shower or things like that, but there is a medicine cabinet over here. And I generally just use this back of the door for some storage and do something with this wall, of course. So there's plenty of space, great size mirror. And yeah, this is the before look. One of the first things I wanted to make sure I did was get everything out of the bathroom. And that also included uh, my towels, my products. I also cleaned the walls and just gave everything a thorough looking over. Then I went ahead and started on day two to tape everything I did not want the paint to touch. All right, folks, so as you can see behind me, we are pretty much done putting on the painter's tape. It's definitely one of the most annoying parts of this project. But now we're ready for the fun stuff, which is the painting. So let's do it. So clearly it's been a while since I painted last because your girl was tired after doing this. Um, but it was good to see the difference that that color made in the space. So it is officially day three now. And let me show you guys the colors that we tried out last night. So these are the three colors that I tested out. I got some fair samples from Home Depot. So I have quite a few colors there, but I settled on three of them. The idea here is I'm gonna try out an arch wall right here. Um, with the toilet, we will be putting shelves there, so I think it'll be a nice touch and it's not something I've seen done a lot in a bathroom. And then this wall will probably remain white unless something else happens. I have get some other different design inspiration and then on this wall um, with the door, we will probably be doing some subway peel and stick wallpaper tiling. So let's get to it. 
So there's a couple of things you want to make sure you have. Of course, a paint pan, your ruler, a leveler. I used a pencil and also some yarn to shape out or to draw out the arch wall. And the glazed ginger paint is what I used on the wall. Um, you can see in the video, I'm actually measuring the distance across that I actually wanted it to be, as well as the distance vertically, how high I want it to be. I wanted it to be just about the same height as the mirror on the right side. And so I measured that out, made sure it was level, and then used the pencil and yarn to draw a perfect half circle diameter. I actually found that the ruler worked a little bit better to make sure that it was exactly the same all the way across. So I used that in addition to the leveler to make sure that everything was pretty much perfect. One of the mistakes I did make was not putting on the paint tape first because as you can see and you'll see in the video, I actually accidentally painted over the restricted area. But you know, note to self, make sure that you always tape first. Part of this DIY, I asked you guys on Instagram what color you thought would go best with the glazed ginger in the arch wall. Should I do the cinnamon tea, the lighter color, or the beta fish, which is the darker green color? So as you can see, I started painting with the beta fish and it was just too dark. So even though you guys liked the beta fish, I did go with the cinnamon tea just because it would have been too dark. So now that the taping is all complete, we are gonna go ahead and get started applying the cinnamon tea paint. probably get done with all this painting in the same day but c'est la vie with a newborn so needless to say day three was over and here we are on day four I spent most of this day doing touch-ups which actually was the fun part because I got to see what the design was starting to look like and things are coming together with the exception of course of that painting outside of the lines which I am fixing here Guess what? It's now day five. Spent much of days four up to my elbows in diapers. And so here we are, day five, new day. Took a much needed trip to Home Depot. Got some very inexpensive wood to build the small shelf that I'm gonna be putting over the mirror. Originally, I had my nephew help me with this, but unfortunately, because of the way YouTube is set up, I could not include him. But props to him for helping me build this shelf. Here I am staining it with some basic wood stain from Home Depot and then I let it dry overnight. Morning everybody, it is now day 
four, I think. And we are finally working on the pale and stick wallpaper. Um, instead of starting on the and the corner, I'm actually gonna start in the middle just because we have such a long space to cover here. I wanna make sure that I have enough and I can always fill in those, like the side portion over here and up above the door. So I'm gonna start with this and get that done so we can get done with this bathroom. So, peel and stick wallpaper. Disclaimer for all of you DIYers out there. Clearly when I went to Target, I did not get enough of this. I had only gotten one roll of the shiplap. And so, as you will see, I'm not gonna show you the whole process here, just enough to show you what I did. Um, I did not have enough. And so I started by getting the main area done. Um, and then of course, because of the pandemic situation, Target was out of everything. Um, and so unfortunately it was on back order. And so you'll see towards the end of the makeover that there's still a little bit that has to be done, but y'all get the idea. It came out looking good. Next, I use my ruler to mark the proper midpoint above the mirror to get the length and to also mark exactly where the screws are gonna go. I created those holes within the shelf where I would help to mount the anchors and the screws. And then you can see I'm sanding down the area just a little bit to make sure that I don't have any extra wood sticking out. I did use drywall anchors. I would highly recommend doing that for any shelf, especially if you're gonna have any kind of weight on it. And then I basically mounted those anchors into the wall. And now I am screwing the shelf into the anchors with my drill. One of the biggest problems I've had with this shower is that it doesn't have any place to store any of your products. So I got these really handy and sturdy shower caddies off of Amazon based off of a recommendation of another YouTuber living to DIY with Rachel Metz. So I have linked them down below. Make sure to watch her videos as well. They are awesome. Um, but these are really great. And so I'm now installing these. Since we're basically done with the shower area, I went ahead and also put in the new shower rod that I purchased, as well as I rehung the shower curtain with the new shower rings that I have as well. All right, so next I am going to install these two shelves. It's not really a set, but they're, they're both from Hobby Lobby. They actually have brackets set up on the back of them to where they can be hung either right side up, like so, to create a shelf, or it can also be set up in the opposite direction to create a shelf on the top and can be used as a towel rack. So I'm actually going to use that on this wall over here and set that up here. And then on our well, over here, I'm going to have it right side up. First things first, I use this Aero brand general hardware kit. It had screws, it had drywall anchors, it has a lot of different things in it, so that's what I did. I measured the vertical distance of how high I wanted the shelf to be and wrote that down. I made a small mark on the wall. Then, of course, made sure that I indicated across where the actual screws would go using the leveler. Then used my screwdriver and a drill bit to drill the, hall, the holes in the wall where the drywall anchors would go. I had to do that a couple times just because the drywall anchors were having a hard time fitting. 
hammer those in on both sides and then went ahead and installed them. Then I went ahead and screwed my screws almost all the way in just because the way the shelf was, I couldn't actually screw the shelf in with my drill. Made sure it was level, we're good to go, and did pretty much the exact same thing on the opposite side, marking exactly where the mid length was so I could mark where I wanted the screws to go. So we finished placing both of our shelves. The only thing that technically was left to do is to finish this small space here with wallpaper. Unfortunately, the wallpaper is on back order. So we are gonna let that stop up. So I'm gonna go ahead and style it just so we can keep this moving and finish that up when the wallpaper gets in. Now for my absolute favorite part, styling. I bought this dish from Target in addition to this little caddy where I keep my roller. This dispenser is from Target as well. I got this Lazy Susan Marvel from Amazon where I'll put a bunch of my products. I put a bunch of my products up on the shelf where they're now there for safekeeping and off of the counter. Bunny tails are from Etsy. Got this nice bamboo shower mat from Amazon. I then styled my shelves with some candles from Ikea. Just to give it a nice touch. And then of course you have to have greenery. And so I added my favorite pothos plant here. Then I replace my bath caddy, added a towel to my towel rack, I purchased this basket from Amazon. It's usually for plants, but I thought it's a really nice way to hide the tissue in the bathroom and I'm placing it up on top of the shelf on the opposite wall. And finally, I added a rug from Home Goods. So if you guys remember, this is what the bathroom looked like before. Lacked character, wasn't really styled, and things were just kind of on the counter without any particular order rhyme or reason. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is the new bathroom. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I love the design and the arch wall turned out really well even though it was my very first time doing it. I love the paint choices and colors that came out really great and I'm just overall happy to have a new look in the bathroom. Thank you guys so much for staying. If you're still here watching this DIY makeover, I appreciate you. Stay tuned for a lot more. I really, really loved doing this, even though it did take a good amount of time, but I really love how it turned out. And thank you so much for joining the Alan A. Associate family. Bye everyone.